Hello everyone. Uh, today in this lecture, I will discuss the introduction of printed circuit board motors (PCB motors). So we will discuss about the PCB motor, their construction and their working, how they operate, how they work. This is a special kind of machine. It is the smallest machine uh, which is used for a specific purpose because of its small size and because of its operating characteristics. So this machine has better application where the size is a concern, size is a constraint. We know that printed circuit board motor, it has two part like uh, all conventional machines, stator and rotor. This, in case of this printed circuit board motor, the rotor is consist of, uh, but it's specific is there, the rotor is consist of non-magnetic material and non-conducting material. So we can say that rotor uh, disc is uh, made up of uh, non-magnetic and uh, not conducting material. So the rotor part is non-magnetic and non-conducting nature and uh, armature bindings are placed on the both side of the disc. So we can say armature winding and commutators are printed with copper on both sides of the disc and the disc armature is placed in such a way that it, it occupies the position between permanent magnets. So disc armature is uh, tried to placed between two sets of armature magnets which are mounted on ferromagnetic plates. And the brushes which are available are placed in the inner periphery in case of uh, printed circuit board motors. The arrangement of assembly of the motor, it is like that, it provides an axial flux through the armature because uh, flux linkage is required and uh, which will provide a corresponding torque. So resultant torque will determine the operation of the machine. So arrangement of assembly is in such a way that axial flux flows through the armature. The torque produced by this is because of the interaction of axial flux and the current flowing through the armature disc. So we can say the production of the torque is because of the axial flux and current flowing through the armature disc interaction. So because of this, the <coughs> torque is generated torque is produced how the pcb motor looks like so in this diagram you can see it has printed wires which are copper strips and you can see the permanent magnets are there which are responsible for providing magnetic field current will be there which will be flowing through the copper strips of the rotor they are short circuited and commutators are also there what we have discussed earlier so the you can see from the diagram the actual position of uh, this commutator actual position of the magnetic field so the uh, printed circuit board, uh, motor looks like this if we talk about the working of this pc motor how it works for any motor or any machine, we need two parts, stator and, uh, stationary part and the rotating part. So this machine also has stationary part and rotating part. So it has two parts, stator and the rotor. We can see it's uh, similar to that conventional motor. The stator and rotor are similar to that of conventional motor. And the PCB motor uh, have such arrangement that a magnetic field is produced. And current is carried by the rotor copper strips so we can say the pc motor has the arrangement to produce magnetic field and a bound rotor to carry the current so current is carried by the bound rotor you can see that uh, pc motors uh, works on the same principle of any machine like current carrying conductor which are placed in magnetic field it experiences a force so this is the basic principle of operation of any machine so the PC motor also follows that uh, principle that a current carrying conductor if it is placed in magnetic field it 
will experience a force. This happens in this PC motor also. And the PC motor work can, we can say that PC motor can work on the principle of DC type motor or principle of single phase induction motor that is called a double field revolving theory. So the PC motor has both working principle. And in case of uh, PC motor, a stator of PC motor has two phase bindings, thin copper strips. So binding is in terms of copper strips and uh, it has two phase bindings and these copper strips surrounds a piezoelectric crystal to provide a strong magnetic field. So we can say that piezo in case of stator, copper strips are there uh, to carry the current and piezoelectric crystals are there. So piezoelectric crystals are surrounded by copper strips to uh, establish or to produce a strong magnetic field. If we see the assembly of PC motor, you can see this is the assembly of PC motor, a stator part is there and uh, a rotor uh, uh, disc is there. So these are the stator part which provide a st uh, strong magnetic field, so which I have shown in earlier slide. And this is the rotor part, this has all the um, components which are uh, responsible for controlling it. And uh, what we talk about the stator, so you can see these small pieces are the piezoelectric crystals and these copper strips are surrounding it. So when this energized, then it becomes a strong magnetic field. This is a property of piezoelectric crystal. So it behaves like a strong magnetic field and a strong magnetic field is generated by this technique only. And uh, these stator bindings uh, have a specific arrangement these bindings are displaced by an angle of 90 degree and the purpose of this is to produce an unbalanced magnetic system. So stator bindings are displaced by angle of 90 degree which will, in, which will ensure the um, production of unbalanced magnetic system uh, and uh, traveling wave is produced which establish a rotating magnetic field. So, traveling wave is also established. Uh, this, will, this is responsible for production of the um, rotating magnetic field. And the traveling waves, uh, they produce an EMF. So, what this EMF will do? This EMF will ensure the flow of current in the rotors binding. And rotor binding are basically thin copper strips which are uh, short circuited. So, we can conclude or you can say that uh, traveling wave induces EMF, the purpose is that induction of EMF. So, traveling waves induces EMF which results in flow of current in rotors binding which are thin copper strips and they are short circuited. Torque will be produced, so rotating torque is required, so torque will be produced. Rotating torque is produced because of the interaction. So the interaction is, be, uh, is between traveling wave and the current induced in the rotor conductor. So interaction between traveling wave and the current induced in the rotor conductor will produce a rotating torque. So from this we can conclude it is just behaving like a single phase induction motor. So PCV motor uh, works like a single phase induction motor in which stator is there, rotor is there and induction of uh, current is occurring in the rotor part and magnetic field is established magnetic established magnetic field is there current carrying conductor is there so what happens it it will uh, it will feel or uh, there will be displacement and uh, corresponding torque and corresponding rotation will be there so uh, we can uh, what we say from what we conclude from the this overall discussion the working principle of PC motor can be concluded like that. A stator winding of PC motors are displaced by 90 degree and the purpose of displacement is the production of unbalanced magnetic system. And traveling wave is produced as we can see from the diagram, traveling wave is produced which establishes a rotating magnetic field and establishment of rotating magnetic field is produced, is uh, done. And traveling wave uh, induces EMF. So, what happens? Induction of EMF occurs. So, traveling wave induces EMF, which results in flow of current and rotors binding. And rotor binding are the thin copper steps, and they are short circuited. Rotating torque produced 
because of the interaction between traveling wave and the current induced in the rotor conductor so because of these interaction between these two the rotating torque is developed and uh, overall we can conclude it works like a single phase induction motor so pcv motor works on the basic principle of single phase induction motor this is all about the basic structure and uh, principle of operation of uh, pcb motor so we can conclude from here uh, it has two parts stator and rotor and uh, a stator has piezoelectric crystal surrounded by copper strips they will uh, produce a strong magnetic field a rotor has binding that is copper strips so induction of emf occurs in the rotor and the correspondingly current flows in the rotor so there will be <coughs> uh, interaction between uh, uh, whatever the field of stator and what is the field of the rotor so rotating torque is developed and rotating torque is developed because of the interaction of traveling wave and the current induced in the rotor conductor so this we can conclude that uh, uh, rotating torque and that uh, will ensure the development of motion so this pcv motor printed circuit motor um, printed circuit board motor works on the same principle just like a single phase induction motor thank you thanks a lot and this all about the this basics of pcv motor thank you